Hello, hi viewers, Kiki here again. Thank you all for taking in this lovely video that I just did. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, as you can see by the title, this is a first impression of all my elf stuff I bought recently. Yes, I'm a bit late on the elf bandwagon, but yeah. So I'm doing the first impression right now, doing a full face that you guys see. So yes. Um, so let's get started. Let's just let's just jump right in. I'm going to use their concealer to clean up my brows. It has some lovely shades in here. As I said, this is a first impression video of the elf. Um, I love the creaminess so far of the concealer. So let's see. I'm going to go back into the foundation and clean the top. Funny enough, this foundation and the way it's so greasy reminds me of the Sasha second skin but when you put on a little too much that's what this looks like and I dab my brush in there twice I did but wow oh my god oh my god I'm gonna bring that concealer down onto my eyelids so I can use it as a base for my eyeshadow I'm going to use the Elf Mad is Matte. This is their Mad is Matte eyeshadow palette. Let's see. This is what it looks like. Now, I love the colors in here. As you see, it's never been used. I've never used any of these products. That's why I'm doing this all Elf. I've never used any of these. I'm going to get into it now and use it and tell you guys exactly what I think and how pigmented it is and that kind of all that good really light color right here. I think it's very pigmented so far. Eyeshadows are going to be really pigmented. So I did that on the brow bone for matte highlights. Because all the colors in here are matte and there's just these colors that I'm going to use. So now that I've done that, I'm going to use another brush and take this beautiful brow shade right here. And apply it in the crease and a little above the crease and blend it into that beautiful color of fall. And so far, so good. Colors are beautiful. It's done, I'm gonna grab another brush, a fluffy brush this time. And I'm going to go into this color right here. It's a kind of pinky color to be honest I'm gonna go into that pop 
Uh, a bit chalky, I think. But hey, it's all good. I'm going to grab yet another brush and go into this dark gray shade here. And I'm going to put that on the outside. This gray shade. Drag it up into the crease. Just a little bit. Very well. Just to blend out. Go back in with my highlighting color. Just go back step by step. And that's it. So this is a very nice, easy, blendable eye. The palette is very good, like that. As you can see, my face is a total grease ball. I'm gonna use a foundation brush from Real Technique. I'm gonna use the light color right here, and I'm gonna use that as a highlight. May not even be that color. I'm gonna It's a damp sponge. I have some banana powder here. Gonna into the dark concealer palette. And these are the really dark shades. I'm going to take the same foundation brush into that dark shade here. The dark shade runs really red, as you can see, it's really, really red. Now that I've done that, I'm going to take, this is my Morphe contour brush B6. I'm going to take that and just buff that out. And I must say the products are very creamy, which is why they're so oily. But they're, that also makes it super, super blendable. I'm going to go back into my banana powder. Um, right. Okay. So since that's part, there's still cooking and I'm leaving it that long because I'm hoping it soaks up half of that oil I don't think the camera is picking up the grease of this foundation the way I'm seeing it in my face but I'm having hell of a problem with my lighting um, in the meantime I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Powder this is what I contour with this is in the shade 255 back into my Contour brush. <laughs> I 
and this is an oil blotting press powder I'm using this because yeah I need some oil off my face this is in the shade spice this is a perfect complexion one for me so let's see what we can do I'm using the banana powder I normally use the Sasha buttercup um, I bought a small banana powder to check it out and I like it. I like the color payoff of it. I like it. So when it sets down, it looks really good. So let's highlight. I have an e.l.f. highlighter. This is God of Glow. It's also a dupe for the NARS highlighter that everybody loves. Almost the same kind of sleek black packaging. So yeah. Let's use the blush. This is the dark blush palette. I'm going to go for a nice pinky. The blush and them are very pigmented and I haven't used these either. So this is a whole very new first impressions for video the blushes are very pigmented very very pigmented and nice and so touch my nose with it all right so i'm not going to add lashes to this look but i'm going to pump up the look with eyeliner and stuff like that so let's go back and back into this brown right here Okay guys, thank you all for those of you who have made it straight to the end of this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to thumbs up and hit the subscribe button on the way out. It's right down there, right here. Big red button, subscribe. It's totally free. You get to see all the videos I come up with or what I'm buying. Because as I said, I'm playing catch up when it comes to makeup right now. Um, I do intend to do a makeup video come April, please the Lord. For all the makeup I've dotted within the year, I'm that new to makeup. It's not even a full year yet. It's not even a full year, guys. So, yeah, I still got a lot to learn. I still got a lot of new tricks and techniques that, as fast as I learn it, I'm going to show you guys. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this elf video. Don't forget to follow me on all the social media networks Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. Uh, snapchat me if you like let's get talking let's interact let me see what you guys buying what you guys doing let me see some looks from you guys that I want to try yeah let's let's do this let's do this um, until next time be safe be beautiful and do you bye